In this video, we're going to talk about understanding the compound interest formula. So what is it? Why does it work? And that's what we're going to be discussing. So the first thing I want to read to you is a famous quote that's been attributed to Albert Einstein. And supposedly Albert Einstein said that compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it earns it. He who doesn't pays it. So kind of a profound quote. We don't know if he actually said it or not. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. But the, the point is, is that it's, it's such a powerful a concept that, that he refers to it as the eighth wonder of the world. Now, what exactly is compounding? Okay, you've made a snowball when you were a kid, right? You, you start with a little snowball, you pack it real tight, and then you start rolling it. And what happens? Well, it doesn't seem like it's doing too much at the beginning, but eventually it gets to the point where, you know, you push it one time and, it, and that snowball, I mean, it's, it's so hard to push because it's, it's, it's growing at a faster and faster rate each time you uh, push that snowball. And why is that? Well, you're adding like a thin layer right, around that snowball. When the snowball is quite large, adding a thin layer to a huge snowball is adding quite a bit of, you know, uh, mass to that snowball. And so that's what we think about when we think about compounding. We think about snowballing as opposed to simple interest. Simple interest, you just get the same amount of interest year after year on that initial investment. And what happens is it grows uh, linearly. When we say linearly, we mean like in a straight line. So uh, every year you get you know, a couple dollars on that investment, a couple dollars, a couple dollars, it never changes. It's like a fixed amount. But with the compounding, what we get is we get something that's growing exponentially. It might look something like this, where it starts off slow and then gradually it starts growing faster and faster. You can see it's going up at a steeper and steeper rate. Okay, and so that's the power of compound interest. Now, I wanna just show you a concrete example. Just say, for example, you started with $100, okay, and let's say that you're able to get 10% interest per year. And let's just say it's only compounded once per year. And so what you would do is you'd say, okay, $100 times 10%, 10%, you have to convert to a decimal by moving it two places to the left. That would give you $10, okay? So what that means is you started with 100, you got $10 interest. Now you're at $110, okay? You're gonna take that $110 and you're gonna compound it again. So let's say the next year at 10%, okay? Now, when you take 0 0.10 times 110, you're gonna get $11. What happened there? First year you got $10, now you're getting $11. We're gonna take that $11, we're gonna add it to what we had before, which is 110. Now we have $121, okay? And we're gonna do it again. So say now we take the $121 that we have, we multiply it by 10%. This one I'm gonna do, uh, see it's, it's gonna be $12.10 that you're getting now. Okay, so you can see it's increasing, not just by a dollar each time, it was went up by a dollar, now it went up by a dollar 10. It's gonna keep going up by more and more each time. But the reason that's happening is because your initial amount is now increasing. And so that's the idea. And you can go ahead and do this a few more times on your own. Maybe start with 1,000 or 10,000, and you're gonna see that it's gonna to start to uh, increase at a, you know, at a faster and faster rate. So now let's talk about this formula here, okay? How do we work with this formula? Well, okay, we're gonna say that P is our principal, that's the starting amount. So let's just say we start with 1,000 this time. So $1,000, okay? A is the ending amount, that's what you end up with. So P is the principal or the starting amount. One, the one represents like 100%, okay? So when I was doing this problem, you see how I multiplied by 0.10 to get $10, and then I added it to the 100? If I would have just multiplied by 1.10, that's 110%. 100% means you take the original amount plus an additional 10%. I could have done it all in one step, but I just wanted to illustrate breaking it down. So that's what the one means. Now plus, we're gonna take the interest rate. Now let's just say, for the example of this video, don't ask me in the comments, Mario, where can I get 12% interest? Okay, but let's just say you're getting 12% interest on some type of investment, okay? And then N is the number of times that you're compounding in a year. So if you were compounding quarterly, N would be four. If it was annually, just once a year, it'd be one. If it was monthly, it would be 12. For this example, let's just say that it's monthly, okay? And then N is the number of times you compound in a year. Again, it's the same value for these two Ns here. And then T is the number of years. So let's just say it's a 
three years, so it's going to be 12 times three. Now, I want to kind of illustrate how this works. So the 12% is like an annual interest rate. But if you're compounding monthly, how much are you getting each month? You're actually getting 0.12 divided by 12, which is 0 0.01, okay? So this becomes 1.01. So every month, you're taking that $1,000, you're multiplying it by 1.01, .01, that's how much you have at the end of the month. And you take that and you multiply that number by 1.01, etc. But notice what's happening. In three years, how many months is that? That's 36 months. So what this NT is giving you is giving you the number of times that you're pushing that snowball, you're rotating that snowball, you're compounding. And in this case, we're compounding 36 times. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this on the calculator. 1,000 uh, times 1.01 .01 raised to the 36th power. Okay, you would end up with $1,430.77. I'm just rounding to the pennies. That's the hundredths place here. That's the ending amount. So you made $430.77. So that's how the compound interest formula works. Now, if you want to end up with more, well, you could try to get a higher interest rate, right? You could start with a larger amount, okay? That's your principal. You could compound more frequently. That'll help it grow a little bit faster. That's N, okay, the number of times you're compounding. And T, you could have that investment for many, many more years. And that's where you really start to see the benefits of compound interest, where it starts to accelerate. So you'll notice like when people are investing for the retirement, you want to start young. You want to start when you're 21. You get that first job. You take that money, a little bit of your income, you invest it. It doesn't seem like it's doing anything. There's even the temptation sometimes, maybe I should take some of that out and buy a car or take a trip or something like that. But if you hang on and you keep investing and keep letting that compound, those last few years before you actually retire is where you're going to see the most growth. Okay, And that's where you're going to really say, that compound interest is kind of an amazing thing. So I hope this helped you to understand compound interest a little bit better. I'll direct you to another video if you want to see a little bit more about this uh, right there. And I'll see you in my other videos.